Hi, friends and family, and whoever else is watching. Um, first of all, I want to apologize to anyone that I know who feels shocked right now, and it's just like, what the hell? I really hope you do understand that I've just not been feeling like talking about this to a lot of people. Samma till er hemma. Um, det är inget personligt och jag vet att jag inte har berättat för ganska många där hemma som känner mig och um, tar inte personligt vad jag saknar er. I know it's scary and unusual for me to put myself out there but I'm not gonna care because this is a pretty big deal and I'm doing this for my friends and family and also for anyone else who's watching because this is something that we all are probably gonna be exposed to one way or another in life. So as a summary of this past month, it's been a pretty chaotic month and basically I went to the doctors February 6th um, because I had a swollen lymph node right here that has been there for like one and a half month and I also felt fatigue for like two weeks, especially when I woke up in the morning I felt very tense and very tired in my body. So I just went to the doctor to see so everything was okay and it ended up with me taking a bunch of blood tests, um, scans and um, meeting with different doctors. So they basically found a mass in my chest at first on my x-ray and then I had to do more scans. This month has just basically been a bunch of tests and appointments with doctors and waiting games which were the hardest part. And finally my doctor called me at March 1st and she told me, hey, you have Hodgkin's lymphoma, stage 3. Gotta fix this, brah. It was good news because Hodgkin's lymphoma is a very treatable and curable cancer. Um, it's highly curable, so I just want to make sure that I will be okay and I want to make it clear that I'm gonna live a happy, long, thriving life and it's not gonna be a problem. So that's basically what I got as diagnosis. Hodgkin's lymphoma stage 3 which is uh, a form of blood cancer and it's in your lymph nodes. If you don't know what the lymphatic system is, it's basically a system in our body that takes care of infections and works with the immune system. So obviously I've had some time to think about all of this now and I got diagnosed 11 days ago and I'm not really mad. I haven't had these why me thoughts or you know just being mad at everything. I've been more analyzing and I'm trying to see this as a lesson. It's a big shame, of course. If you watch this and you don't know me, I'm from Sweden and I used to live in California for a year and I just moved back two months ago to study here. So that's another part what I've been trying to figure out these past couple of days. Um, what determines if I have to go home or if I can stay. And now it looks like I can stay at least until the end of the semester, which is my biggest priority right now, so that's good news. Also, these last couple of weeks, I've always tried to see myself as a grateful person, and you'll see the little things, and I don't think I necessarily have a hard time doing it, but the last couple of weeks, regarding support and whatnot, it's just been extraordinary, it's just been amazing. It's like these little lights and angels just popping up everywhere. In this small town I live in, there are people here that haven't even met me yet and that, that want to help through this whole journey. And it's just amazing, you know. I, I'm not trying to brag about getting support. What I'm trying to say is it makes me so glad to see the good in people. I think for me, a lesson in this whole thing too, I mean I haven't even started yet, I haven't even started my treatment yet. But a lesson for me I think is to, you know, accept that I need help and accept that I will need support through this. And also through this whole journey, I think what's gonna make me go through it much easier is just not take it too seriously all the time, keep doing normal things as much as possible. I'm gonna be so determined to keep going to school until the semester ends. And just laugh a little bit about it and cry when I need to. And you know, we all have our own way of handling things and coping with things no matter what happens to us in life. I strongly believe that an attitude, a positivity, and just being driven, just being ambitious, just working hard can do a humongous difference for anyone. I think it is important, no matter if you're sick or healthy, to always surround yourself with good energy, with good food, with good people, with nature, 
and that's what I've been trying to do, that's what I always try to do. Just make sure that wherever I am, I'm happy. That's why I'm back here in California, because I'm happy here. But I don't want my friend back home to be worried about me or be worried that I'm here all alone because I'm not. There are so many great people around that wants to help me and be their support. And if you're watching this and you're one of them, I'm so grateful. I'm forever grateful for you. Even the smallest things, like just wishing me to get better soon or, you know, just meet me for a coffee, just do something fun. And also, I think it's important to remember, no matter what diagnosis you get or what sickness you get, the sickness is not going to be you, it's just going to be a part of you, just like any other thing. And I don't want my friends to think that every every time they meet me, they're, they're just going to talk about cancer for three hours. It's not going to be like that, you know? I will find my way to cope the best way possible, and I have faith that I'm going to be okay. I am going to do the treatment, the treatment called... ABVD. It's a six month treatment. Um, every second week they're gonna put uh, chemotherapy inside of me. Right now much is unknown still for me because everyone reacts different to chemo. Lastly I want to just say that I'm also putting this out there for anyone who I can help through something like this or if you know anyone who's going through something like this. I'm just extremely passionate about these things and you know, if there's any way I can help, if there's any questions I can answer, if I can share my experience and share my thoughts and share my lessons, and if that would help anyone, I would be happy to do it. Just let me know how. Other than that, guys, I hope everyone's well, and I wish I could give you all a big old hug, but I can't. Um, some of you I can. Next time I see you, I will give you a big old hug. And, um... You know, there are other things that I need to prepare a little bit for, like chemo's gonna make me lose all my hair. So, which I don't, I don't really mind. I, know, I mean, it's gonna grow back right after. So me and one of my friends are gonna go to a wig store and try out a bunch of wigs and maybe find some cool beanies and um, like a scarf or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to stay positive right now. Uh, once again, it's still a lot of things unknown, but... I will be okay. Alright guys, peace and love. Talk to you later.